inches off my chest. I've never heard that before. And I'm pretty sure now that the these guys aren't the same guys from the uh, ONBS station. Fuck you, Intimidate. Fuck you. Anyway, uh, let's see. Both of these Pokemon are kind of dangerous for God. Though him on top's a little more dangerous, so I'm gonna get you to take down. And I speak. Yeah, Scratch isn't that effective. Especially when you're at level fucking 30! Moron. Ooh, triple kick, ow. Fucking A! That's bullshit! That last hit shouldn't have done that much damage. I don't know, that's... It more than likely should have, but I'm not paying fucking attention. Alright then, Cerberus, time for some EXP. Actually, thinking about it... All three of those Pokémon are very weak against fighting-type moves. Thinking about it, because Cerberus is weak by two times, so is uh, Avalanche. Gone is weak four times. That's it, I think. Elegance, uh, Elegance resistant. Bolt is normal, and I'm missing one Pokemon on my team. Yeah, Crobat's also resistant. Actually, Crobat's four times resistant, because Poison type moves as well. And I didn't, even, I didn't even really pay much attention to that, but I'm pretty sure he just used Scratch on Cerberus. Who's a fire type. And he's a water type. Oh, the stupidity of the AI. This guy really loves his fighting types, though. Hell, the last guy had a lot of fighting types, too. And now he's using Aerial Ace. What is with this guy? These AIs are fucking stupid. I mean, what do, do, do the move sets of these Pokemon? Are they really that fucking horrid? Ooh, ow! That's got a Hoyt. Especially since I probably just crotch. Considering it's so fucking huge. <laughs> okay, I should shut him now. Here's a Venomoth, and it's a shit Pokemon. It's kind of okay. But it's one of those, it's another one of those Pokemon that can fly, which by the way, Magneton also falls in this area. It can fly, but it's still affected against ground type moves. Which, being a fucking poison type, is kind of a problem. Beedrill also falls in this category, and, and so does, um, as I've said, Magneton. All three of these Pokemon are super. Like, I can understand if it does normal damage, okay? Fine, okay? I can deal with, for some reason, a Pokemon that can fly, does, it does normal damage. But when it's super effective against them, especially a Magneton, which is four times effective, you know, that gets in the way of playing the fucking game. I'm sorry, I just, I just really hate that you couldn't give him Levitate. I understand abilities kind of suck sometimes, but you couldn't give him fucking Levitate. I mean, even Flygon got Levitate, even though it technically just flies. So I don't want to hear any of that bullshit either. Well, uh, it's, uh, oh, oh, le Levitate doesn't make sense because it's flying. Yeah, yeah, Flygon did the same thing, so no, no bullshit excuses there. Oh no, Shadow Rush, that extremely powerful move, I did not know it was that strong. Can this player paralyze the, uh, Gold Duck, please? Please, 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 please? Fuck yeah! Slow his ass down. I don't know why I'm talking like these. Uh, I don't even know. Uh, actually, I'm gonna switch out. Switch out Avalanche right now. Actually, thinking about it, Service is probably gonna die this turn. Wasn't thinking that far ahead. Shit. After he kills Gold Duck, however. And now you die for being a completely stupid Pokemon. Water types? What's that? Hell, so far, 
fucking Cerberus is the weakest Pokemon on our team, and he's doing some pretty good damage. And that's why I didn't attack him with Avalanche. Just in case he had another Shadow type move Pokemon. And I would have used I was thinking about using Ice Beam too, so. Ow, critical hit, you fucking fuck. You're mean. What the heck? That's two of my fucking Pokemon, my god. These guys are dicks. Come on, Fang. Alright then. I guess we need to. Confuse one of them and paralyze one of them. Hopefully this works, which I'm pretty sure it will. And we're kind of... 40, 40 minutes, uh... 44 minutes right now, though a little bit different for you guys because we're cutting I, I cut... I'm cutting out a bit earlier from this session, but, uh... Might stop the recording and come back to it after this fight. So I don't want the video to actually go way out of desync again. That was horrible. I hate having to start videos because of that. Uh -huh. Well, at least that helped. Alright, now Confused Ray and the Venomoth and Thunder Wave on the Weeping Bell. Ah, uh, Parafusion. It's funny how well Bolt and uh, Fang can do together. Because not only are they both extremely fast, meaning they are very, very fast, meaning they're probably, they probably both go first in the same turn, but they can do status and elements at the same time. We can totally fuck over these guys in one turn. Oh no, Shadow Hole! Wait, no, I had these guys out for a reason. Ha! Ah, jokes on. Especially since you guys have already paralyzed slash confused. Oh! I think he said hit yourself in the face, so that's why I did it. I have no regrets. Alright, use Bite on the... Venomoth. Actually, no. Bite on the Weaving Bell and use Double Kick on the Venomoth, because Double Kick won't do shit. Well, that really didn't do shit. Well, at least Confuse Ray made, for, made up for it. Okay, 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 you're being caught now. Fight the Venomoth, and we catch the Weeping Bell now. Alright then. Go! Snack! Great! Cool! Nah, fuck. Don't know what to call it. Da 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 da! Weeping Bell caught! Alright now, no critical hits now, Fang. Thank you. Hell, even a critical hit wouldn't have killed it. Though, a critical hit would have probably killed it after it did that. A lot of trainers here, which have more than just one Pokemon. I'm actually curious, curious, curious as to whether or not they actually decided to have this game a little bit longer and then just, just, just decided to stick a few of these trainers with more than one. Then again, other of these trainers don't have any Shadow Pokemon at all. I think it would have been smarter, like, I understand the kind of challenge making you have to fight, uh, two Shadow Pokémon, but when some of these trainers really could have used Shadow Pokémon, I barely even understood that. Alright, healing time. And that train up there is probably gonna fight us. I can't see his face from over here. Anyway, um... But yeah, I feel like, like, they kind of... At, at one point, like, probably one, maybe wanted this game a little bit longer and then decided just to stick the Shadow Pokemon they have into here. Or may maybe they just did it for the challenge, I don't know. Because I really don't see the point of having, uh... Sorry. I, I really don't see the point to having, um... So some of the trainers and some of the Cyphers have Shadow Pokemon and not some of the other ones. I really don't see the point of that, because... You know, aren't you supposed to be the bad guys? Isn't your whole team supposed to be pimped out with Shadow Pokemon, in a sense? I mean, like they said, this this factory can produce huge amounts of Shadow Pokemon. Now, I understand that some of the Pokemon they caught at the SS Libra does limit them to how much Shadow Pokemon, which is why this place needs to be destroyed now instead of later. But, I, I don't know. 
It's probably, you know, it, there is probably a logical reason why everyone doesn't have a Shadow Pokemon, but still. Why do some of these random ciphers have two Pokemon over... Especially in the big, very beginning, you think you think the weaker guys would be put on the front line, and then the tougher guys would be in the back, and the tougher ones would be the ones with the more Shadow Pokemon. But maybe I'm looking too much into it, whatever, but still. It's a game, and I expect, I expect quality for it. Or at least something thought out. But whatever, fuck it. Hey, you. How about you not adjust the voltage? Yeah, we have that. No, I don't, actually. Oh, no! Maybe I should tell you everything as to why this could fuck up this whole place. I'm positive they did this on purpose, but it just still fathom, fathoms me as to how fucking stupid this guy is. By god, please do not push the big red button. Oh boy. Fucking idiots. Anyway, it was that Grumpig, which annoyed me in the past, if you remember from Coliseum, so I'm taking it down. Hopefully it doesn't have very strong uh, physical defense. And Seedra, I don't know if we talked about Seedra before. Of all form of Horsey, my god, you guys are killing gone. God, thank god you have leftovers to help with some of this. Anyway, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to train up Gon off screen, mostly. I'll train him up until he has to evolve and then come back with moderate EXP and then evolve him. We didn't even kill him. God damn it. Oh, I didn't. Eh, fuck it. I'll leave this video to be as long as it needs to be. If it desyncs, it desyncs. I have to restart this one. So that would piss me off. Uh, I don't know which one to use it on. I use it on the fucking thing. Raises specialty or does nothing or. I remember looking it up, but I don't remember it at all. You use Leer when more than likely, if. Well, you didn't know I used Hyper Potion, but still, you probably could have killed it. Gone. I don't. I don't get these guys. Fire ground type, already talked about it. It is four times weak to water type move, so. Be smart. Use water. And he's using Twister now. What happened to Water Gun? Anyway, uh, I didn't, didn't really talk about it. Ball form of Horsey, and then with the Dragon Scale evolves into Seedra. Being a water dragon type, it is only effective against. A dragon type moves are only effective against it. And to my knowledge, it's pretty fucking powerful, too. Kingdra. Good Pokemon. Never used one though. I'm kind of considering it, thinking about it now. Though I don't know what game I would use it. In. And level 38. Yeah, we switching you out for another guy. We got a lot of EXP. Seeking. Fuck yeah! I had to say it. Come on, we we all have to say it. It it, it is now a law in the Mike the Mike Juno. Second rulebook of Let's Play. You shall obey! Okay, see, now he's using Water Gun. Don't use it on Avalanche, you fucking idiot. I I'm trying to tell you how to be a good AI and fight intelligently. Yeah, there we go. I was about to say smartly, and I'd be like, let me rephrase that. As for some reason now, you people seem to have a very mixed feelings about my intelligence. Anyway, Seedra's down. I'm a little bit happy now. Though that Seeking is kind of scary. Especially if it has Horn Drill. Pillow Swine. Oh, we've already talked about that. We had a trouble cratch catching your crouching. Catching your grandson.
more worried about that pillow swine, so let's take his AS out. No, Seeking. The Seeking I'm worried about. Ow, this water pulse could hurt. Ouch, fuck. Thank god, still alive. Could it survive another hit? Yes, it can. As long as it doesn't get paralyzed and fucking hits itself. Okay, Avalanche. If you can't kill it, please just paralyze it. Please, 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 please. Aw, so fucking close. Let's see gets a critical hit. I'm gonna call Gone because if he hits himself after the Seeking does another Water Pulse, I'm fucked. He'll die, and I want to keep him out because he needs EXP badly. Anyway, Body Slam... God! Huh. Apparently, Water-type moves are strong against Rock-types. And he was an idiot. Okay, then. Ooh, he dug a hole. That's not good. Sadly, Gon is also four times weak to Ground-type moves. I mean, with the rock type, he covers his fire weakness, but. Yeah. Switch out for Fang. And, uh. Are you slower than Pillow Swine? I'm not sure. At least now he's forcing me to bring it. It's kind of smart, because. Oh, wow. So he used it on Avalanche. For, again, some stupid reason. Anyway. The kind of cool thing, though, about Gon is that he is a uh, rock steel type mean. Ooh, critical hit. Ow. Dude, you were pissed about that. Ouch. God, he's probably like, I want a challenge. Stop being a fucking idiot. Give back your yeah. Yeah. Now, just to be safe and make sure that the, uh... Ooh, 26. What's 26? Why do I feel like I've already, I already have 26? No, I don't... <gasps> Earthquake. Fuck yeah. See, you can actually learn it. Wow. Oh, Avalanche can learn it? Wow, that's kind of cool, I guess. Deals with its electric weakness. Anyway, we're giving it to Gon because it makes more sense. And I gave it to Gon so he could use it against... He could use it with Fang. Can't talk right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Uh, so you can see it's 100 damage and 100. It's probably the best out of all of the, like, flamethrower, ice beam, all that stuff. Earthquake is probably the best of them. Um, I like the mud slap thing, but I think I'm going to get rid of it for Earthquake. I don't know if we've actually seen Earthquake yet, so I'm kind of curious about what we get. Anyway, I'm not going to mess with this thing until I come back, so, uh, yeah. So I'm going to, just in case for some reason, either the guy comes out of this thing down here. Good, he's not. Or, um, yeah. And we're going on to an hour of recording. Just in case this thing really fucks up, I'm going to stop the video here and come back with you guys in a second. And when I come back, my Pokemon will be healed. So catch you guys in a second. This is Mike June the second. Ha ha ha. Signing out. <laughs> oh boy.